Time now for sports on SSP TV News. Hazleton Area High School graduate Samantha Varela has been a force this season at the plate and in the circle for the Penn State Hazleton softball team. What's been the secret to her success for the local Lions? Ken Kara caught up with her recently to find out. Through the magic of television and technology, this segment was taped um, two weeks before you're going to see it, but I'm with Sam Varela, um, pitcher for Penn State Hazleton, and you're getting ready. You have a game today against the University of Scranton, right? Yes. Right, so I walked in, you were chilling, as having a slushy. So the slushy, not necessarily part of the pregame routine, but you, there is a food that you always eat before you start. Yes, it's definitely mac and cheese, but it has to be the Velveeta kind. When did this start and how did this start? This probably started my freshman year and it was because I had a really good game against uh, SUNY Delhi, and I had back-to-back -back home runs in the first game and then the second game I had a grand slam. It's all about the mac and cheese. So it is a superstitious thing at this Yes, point. yes, absolutely. How superstitious are you? I mean, baseball, softball are sports where you can kind of get into those things. Yeah, I'm not really that superstitious. It's just the mac and cheese pretty much. <laughs> Something's definitely been working this year, batting average up, um, nailing home runs. Every time I seem to look at your stats, it's like three hits a game. You said you do feel a difference this year at the play. What, what do you think that is? I think it's just because I feel more comfortable and uh, I've been working a lot in the off season, so that definitely plays a big factor. What'd you do in the off season? I guess it's not team related or is it team related? We all hit upstairs in the gym and uh, basically lifting in the off season definitely helped a lot. When you are locked in like that, what does it seem? Does it seem like things slow down? Like, how can you tell that you're, is it just a confidence thing? Yeah, that confidence, and I just feel like really loose. When, and you said you remember specific at-bats. Do you remember, what's one at-bat that really sticks out in your mind from this year? Definitely when we played Cedar Crest, and uh, it was the second game we were losing, and we came back and won the game, and I hit a grand slam that game. What do you look for? I might have told you this, but a while ago I did a segment with the Penn State Hazleton softball team where um, they pitched to me, and I fouled one off. That's as close <laughs> as I got to hitting it. I had no idea what to look for. Like, what, what do you kind of look for from the pitcher? Is there something maybe you could see, or do you just say, wherever this ball's coming, I'm hitting it? Basically, I just pick out fastballs for the most part or wherever it's in my location that I like. You don't mind the pressure or anything like that. You said you were nervous about the interview, but going up there and having the game on the line, you know, trying to hit a grand slam, you don't mind that? No, not at all. Have you always been like that or did you mature into that? Um, I've always been like that for the most part. I like pressure. So what are you doing? You're majoring in psychology. What else are you doing besides softball? What else are you into? What else are you doing to kind of free your mind or clear your mind? I'm usually always in the gym. We're either working out or like playing basketball. I love to play basketball. What's the ride going to be like on the way to Scranton? Are you guys chill or is there music playing? What's it like when you're going to a road? There's music playing and it's usually like pretty crazy just to like pump us up. Who gets to pick that? Usually me. Oh. <laughs> How did you end up in that role? Uh, everybody just asked me for the aux and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> you have music, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I guess good taste in music. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for your time. Go enjoy your macaroni and cheese right now. Thanks, Kenny. Well, the Penn State Hazleton softball team will compete for a Penn State University Athletic Conference Championship this weekend. The PSUAC playoffs will be held at Penn State Worthington Scranton. That'll do it for us tonight in sports. We'll have social coming up next.